On the evening of October 21st, 2021, a large crowd of spectators gathered at Frontier Regional School to watch the Frontier Redhawks take on the East Hampton Eagles. This highly anticipated game would be the final home game of the season for the Hawks. It was also senior night, causing even more than usual anticipation for a victory. The Red Hawks featured seven seniors on their 2021 roster. Number 34, Dan Demon. Number 4, Ben Lazat. Number 17, Sam Schreiber. Number 1, Josh Samaski. And number 68, John Samaski. Number six, Ian Spirits. And number 75, Gavin Trott. Following the senior ceremony honoring these ambitious young men, the Hawks kicked the ball off to the Eagles, beginning what would be a fierce competition between the two birds of prey. The Hawks defense would provide quite a challenge to the Eagles throughout the first quarter. However, once gaining control of the ball, the Hawks would find the Eagles were of a similar bird, as they too also had a strong defensive core. By the end of the first quarter, the Eagles were around 15 yards to scoring their first touchdown. And while the Red Hawks did defend their nest, the ending of the quarter came about before Frontier could regain control of the ball. After switching sides on the field, the Eagles would score their first touchdown at the beginning of the second quarter. Fortunately, this touchdown did not discourage Frontier's Red Hawks, as following the kickoff by the Eagles, the Hawks went on a crusade defending their home nest and giving spectators quite the show.
The game was now tied 8-8, and while there was only 1 minute 28 seconds left in the second quarter, the Hawks were not quite done putting the Eagles in their place prior to halftime. Shortly after kicking the ball off to the Eagles, the Red Hawks regained control of the football. were desperate to stop the Hawks from getting another touchdown and would make the mistake of having a flag thrown on them, thus advancing the Hawks five yards to the goal line. Red Hawks would finish the exciting second quarter, leading the Eagles 14 to eight. With imaginations running wild of what the Hawks had in store for the Eagles, many could not wait for the third quarter to get underway. However, just as this highly anticipated third quarter began, the unthinkable happened. Through the remainder of the third quarter, the Hawks would fiercely fight to undo this two-point lead error. Though just as Frontier had an excellent defense, so did East Hampton, and the third quarter would end with no change in score. The competition between these two birds of prey during the majority of the fourth quarter would be no different than the third. Frontier fans were hoping for a miracle, so the Hawks could score a touchdown and end their regular season with a victory. It wouldn't be until there was 90 seconds left on the clock that a miracle would begin to fly in. Right at the end of the tunnel, the Red Hawks were ready to declare victory over the Eagles. And just as they were ready to score a winning touchdown and end their regular season with a win, what the Hawks feared most came true.
An interception by the Eagles ended the game with a final score of 16 to 14. While the Red Hawks did lose the game, they still left as champions as the team's fighting spirit impressed their fans and even the other team. With the competition between Frontier and East Hampton over, the Hawks honored their competitors, shook their hands, and congratulated these fellow birds of prey on their well-earned victory.